Welcome to AOCS Annual Meeting and Expo 2024 here in Montreal, Canada. My name is D.V. Chame, representing the DVC Process Technologies Pune, India, giving presentation on product show, under product showcase. The products which are crystallizer and filter are being used for Devaxing and winterization of oils like sunflower, canola, rice bran oil. Here we'll go with slideshow. Here, this filter we have mentioned, we have used. And this newly designed by the DVC process technologies, that is a low pressure vertical use filter, in short term as LPVLF. Just introduction on this devaxing. These are the oils which are containing wax are sunflower, corn, and rice bran oil. Do require devaxing. This is as part of the refining process. After de-waxing, that aesthetic look of the oil becomes clear at room temperature, which is confirmed by the cold taste carried at 0 degrees centigrade for 8 to 10 hours. Here are some, some stages mentioned in refining, that is, in general. When you do the conventional refining, this the Process carried out uh, this digging that is for solid extracted oil, then ungulated for neutralization, then followed by bleaching and the devaxing by filtration, and then last one the demineralization. In case of rice bran oil, this high FFA containing oil normally process by the physical refining route. Here, this done the water digging if required to separate the in lecithin, and then modify degumming for that is for residual gums, then bleaching, and then followed devaxing with dryization by filtration, and the last stage that is being a high FFA oil that is a deacidification, then deodorization is a combined process. Here are the schematic of this devaxing process. Here we have shown this equipment taking part into the devaxing. These are the, the crystallizer in which the oil is being taken into after bleaching. The oil comes here in this one. This is a continuous process from this, this crystallizer. The pre cooling is from here, it goes to the second crystallizer, which is being the required temperature for the crystallization. There's a retain in total retention that is of six to eight hours for the oils like corn and sunflower. Then after that, it is being pumped for filtration. There is here there's the being continuous process. The, there are two filters which are used one by one. After that, that is being that oil is being pumped to the further processing. Here, the schooling is done so systematically, the water, the crystals which are produced, is the minimal damage to those, and so that helps in having the moderate filtration rate during the filtration, that is, separation of the wax from the oil. Next. Here, already we mentioned after bleaching this, what crystallization. Of the wax oil, then, then this uh, here, the, here it was uh, gent, then uh, gentle hesitation and homogenize the mass with efficient concentric coils through which still water and wine water under circulation controlled by the cooling control by this program system. Here, that's where I mentioned that. For optimal crystallization, the wax retention time that is six to eight hours for sunflower canola. While for rice bran oil, that is 
60 to 20 hours for the de-waxing and then if required to do in a single with the interization, 30 to 36 hours. Here the crystallizer which, are, which is being used by the DBC, the features we are explaining these are cylindrical bottom as usual. But composer concentric dual zone cooling coils. Here the normally in, in uh, demaxing the crystallizers which are used, they are with single concentric coil. This provided with the hesitator drive motor, provided with VFD for speed regulation and the hesitator assembly mounted to the S type of plates, which provides hesitation in between of the two concentric coils assembly. That is unique feature. The cooling cycle program and control by the PLC. This is a multi-purpose design compatible for devaxing, digestion and fractionation of high solid part content oils like form. Here is about how the crystallizer will look. Here is the second top of this crystallizer. These are the two concentric coils. Here you will see fine. These are the, in the internal blade, is the edge blade. It, how it cleans surface, keep the surface of the coils clean. And then other blade which is moving in between these two coils that is here. One. So it cleans the, this coil's outer area and the inner area of this coil, outer coil. So, so it, it, in total we can say this, the heat transfer is being done very efficiently, same time not damaging to the crystals of the wax which are formed. This is a side view of this one, how this, the, 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 these coils are. These are the inner coils, which is how it looks segment. And the manage this uh, cooling reagent. And these outer ones. So in between of these two coils, as mentioned, this blade soft. This is the edge blade, which is there, which is in between the outer and inner coils. We'll discuss about the LV, LPVLF design. This low pressure vertical wedge filter. The cylindrical vessel with top removal cover and bottom dish end. Bottom dish provided with heating jacket. The top cover sealing by lip seal of edible red rubber polymer provided hinge bolts for tightening. Top cover provided with necessary nozzle for mounting pressure transmitter sensors and air inlet and products nozzles. Provided inlet and outlet manifold and mounting nozzles for service fluid that is hot and cold. And bottom nozzle for draining of the molten wax. This is provided wax oil inlet nozzle and filtered oil outlet manifold nozzle provided top and bottom manifold for mounting of the filtering links and collecting the filtered oil. Filtering links provided with coils for circulation of hot and cold liquid for heating and then cooling of links during cleaning operation. Over the coil mounted the filtering element which is in back form of non one synthetic material of edible grade with appropriate micron size. This filter is available in the sizes right from 100 to 300 square meter. These are the some sections and view, top view of this filter, how it looks. This is a simple cylindrical vessel design. It's a little conical bottom. These are the leaves which are mounted, mounted over here and these are the small this, this is the pipes which are uh, for circulating the service liquid for heating and cooling. That is heating service liquid that is obviously hot water while the cooling liquid that is a normal cooling water then the chill water. This is a sectional view of the, how the leaves are. These are the leaves which are inside these pipes are there for circulation of this service liquid and over to that there is a mesh is mounted over here and over to that is a cloth is mounted over here. 
So how this is designed. Coming up, crystallized wax oil mixture to filter that LPVLM by appropriate head screw pump to avoid damage to wax crystals and their churning help in the churning in improving filtration efficiency. LPVLF is inline filter operates in the range of 0 to 1 bar pressure at inlet while the filtered oil outlet is under the vacuum of 500 to 600 mmHg. This unique feature in filtration of axes is the wax induced better de-waxing if level and efficient filtration. That is, is a hybrid mode that is pressure at the inlet side while the negative pressure at the outlet side. So it improves the filtration efficiency and gives the better quality of the filtered product. How this LPVLF is being cleaned? This, when the filter gets choked by the axis, then cleaning done by the direct. Then initially it is being squeezed by the air, direct air, air pressure use that is from zero to three bars. And initially, I mean, the, the gradually it is being increased. The bottoms manifold is as a segmented one, so the air squeezing is done in a in parts as per the filtration area divided, which manages the air quantity efficiently, giving efficient squeezing effect as the differential pressure at the inlet and outlet side is maintained. So it helps in taking out the oil from the wax. After squeezing operation, hot water circulated through the coils as mentioned till the leaves get heated by which accumulated wax on filtering surface area get melted and falls down at bottom. After dissolving of wax, cold water, after dislodging of wax, cold water and followed by chill water circulated through the coils of leaves to cool down the leaves surface area and making it ready for the next operation. And the advantages of this filter next one. In this filter, no filter aid is required. So the wax which is being recovered from this filter is free of filtering aid or any other additives. Obviously gives better value. As these filter leaves are inside vessels, so no operations are so the operations are hermetically sealed, which helps in maintaining the quality of oil and housekeeping also. And there are no leakages outside. The operation of this filter can be fully automated or as per the requirement and integrated with the de-waxing process plant or mainstream processing operations. This filter is very simple in design, easy to handle and operate. Also, do attract lower maintenance cost and can be used in multiple parallel lines for higher capacities. And also, this is easy to integrate with automated operations and in the existing devaxing plants too. For any more queries, any more information, you can contact us on this Q and address. And also, can you visit our website www.dvcprocessing.com? Thank you very much for your kind listening.